Welcome everybody to Sydney, Australia. This is SLS Sydney presented by Boost Mobile. Our first time ever being on Australian soil and this is what everyone is competing for. We are here at the Ken Rosewell Arena. And it's a sold out crowd. People are still making their way in for the men's final. Hey everybody, I'm your host, Andrew Cannon, joined by Sean Malto. Sean, we just saw the women's final. It was mind blowing. What do you think we're gonna see here in the men's? Yeah, that was crazy. And the crowd was going nuts. And for this crowd to be sold out right here for the men's final, I'm expecting a lot of energy. Well, I agree. I think this, this arena is ready to erupt at any moment. These are the skaters. We've got Deshaun Jordan. Kairi Netsuke, Nyjah Houston, Felipe Gustavo, Lucas Ribello, and defending champion, Yuto Horigomi. This is, this is a very, very good list of skaters. As stacked as you can get. I mean, one guy that I love this guy's energy, Deshaun Jordan coming in as our second chance qualifier. He already put a lot of pressure on himself. He came through, and I'm looking for a big final from Deshaun. He was also doing that on a borrowed board. But our defending champion, Yuto Hiragomi, we haven't seen him out here practicing a whole lot. And that, I think, is by design. This is how he tends to operate. He doesn't show his cards to the other skaters. He doesn't want to give them that advantage. So what he has in store for us, your guess is as good as ours. This is how it's all gonna break down in the basics presented by Tech Deck. We've got two 45 second line attempts to kick things off. From there, it's all about your five single trick attempts anywhere on the course. Your four scores are what count towards the final. And we're gonna take a maximum of one line score. It's not required though. And we have seen skaters make it all happen with single tricks. It's just a lot harder and there's a lot more pressure. The crowd is coming back in. It is sold out. Sean, do you have any uh, early predictions? I mean, I love Deshaun. I love Deshaun, but <laughs> Yuto is that guy right now, so we'll see. We're gonna find out soon enough. You ready to meet the uh, meet the skater, Sean? Yeah, yeah. Let's see who's in this thing. You know. <laughs> Our first skater in from Chandler, Arizona. PMA right there on the neck. We got 26-year-old Deshaun Jordan. And from Japan, we got Kairi Netsuki for his first ever Street League final. Welcome to the finals. Not the man, best. the myth, the legend, 28 years old, Nyjah Houston. One of my favorite skaters from Brazil, Felipe Gustavo, very emotional making it to the finals. He's just gonna put it all out there on the line. From Brazil, 24 years old, we got Lucas Ribello. And last but not least, our defending champion, Yuto Horigome, 24 years old from Japan. The crowd is ready out here. The course is ready. The skaters are ready. Before we get into it though, the skaters are loving this course here in Sydney, built by California Skate Parks. Let's hear how they break it down in this course preview presented by Rumble Sports. For real, man, the course is epic, amazing, to a T, everything about it, man. It's so much fun, as you can tell, everybody's having a great time skating. The big section, the Boost Mobile, Gap to Hubba. Uh, the rails are perfect, the hubbers are perfect. I mean, it's fun. It's a little tight squeeze, but it's a super cool course. This stair, hubber section, rail section, it's pretty cool. I mean, 
mean, hey, I wish I wish the rails were a little like bigger. But that's just me. I just like big rails. It's different, a good throw, like that was like you know like not that big this time, so that like, you can do like tech trick. How about two? Uh, I'll have to go with the bump ledge, but the roll up's a little short, so I'm trying to figure out how to set up for fakey right now. Dude, I love it. Low impact, tech stuff. That's my. Small little venue, a lot of people are gonna show up. It's gonna be a good energy. Hyped. Well, we got some of the big dogs in there barking about how good this course is. Felipe Gustavo, you know, it's so awesome that he's here in the finals right now and has such a great course in front of him. But I don't wanna get too ahead of myself. We're gonna kick things off with Deshaun Jordan, line number one. Good start on that fresh new board that he has. Frontside 270 back lit. Looks a lot more solid right now than he did in the qualifier. Well, that first line, he got 20 seconds in and broke his board on the nose blunt. He snapped the nose off it too, which was a little wild. Yeah, he qualified on Shane O'Neill's board. Going up straight. Oh! oh. At the buzzer. Dude, throwing that in, in at the end of your line, I mean, how do you feel at the end of a 45 second line? I feel dead, but Deshaun <laughs> is peak athlete. Really solid bump nose blunt on the boost mobile hubba. And then this trick, the new one for him, fakey Ollie switch back Smith down the rail. Solid ending crook up the hubba. See how tucked he was? That was incredible. Scores in 8.6, starting this finals off with a bang. Next Gator in, qualified in through the Select Series, made it through the knockout round, and is here for his first ever final in SLS, Kairi Netsuke. Sean, we've gotten to watch him skate a lot. What do you think he's bringing to this finals? I mean, his line is so good if he puts it together, which he is currently doing right now. Look at that. He'll flip back Smith, straight in a crook nolly flip. And then he's landed every single one of those big flips he's tried. Oh, he did it! He did it! <laughs> this is a guy that did select series prelims, select series finals, then the knockout round, and now in the finals, still putting it down. The stamina. All right, walk us through these replays. Look at that nolly inward heel, and then look, the heel flip backsmith so dipped. Straight into this crook nolly flip. I mean, that combo alone is so incredibly difficult. And this combo might be harder. Heel flip back lip right into the tail slide heel flip. So two amazing combos, flip tricks in between. And a 9.4. This is the finals. <laughs> All the way in from the select series. All the way into the club. Tail slide, heel flip out. No part of that line was easy. None of it. 
I'm just trying to think. I'm like, was there one trick that was easy? No. Not a single one. Nigel Houston. I like it. He's kind of moving the head, kind of getting getting the energy going. Hopefully, he's feeling a little bit better. We talked about it earlier. He had some unfortunate food poisoning. Still managed to qualify in. Missing that front crook. He'll play front side, port side, switch. Ten seconds left. Ooh. That's a step up. I know he didn't land that run, but his body language is way better than it was in the prelims. It seems like he's able to get some fluids in his body, kind of shake this food poisoning a little bit. Look at that. Switch heel front board. If he can put that together, do you think that can stand up to the 9.4? I think it's it's going to put him within striking distance, that's for sure. Next skater in. We saw it in the course preview. He really likes this course. He likes that there are tech opportunities. And he skated so well in the knockout round. Felipe Gustavo. Barely hanging on to the Nolly front nose, but recovered with a good kick flip. Wow, I like it the hover. We saw in the knockout round the Nolly flip crook was his step up for the line score. Overshooting the kickflip crook. Such a beautiful nollie for crook. Straight into this front tail fakey. Seven point two. It's got him in third place right now. But we are running in reverse order. Next skater in, Lucas Rabello. Oh, Fakie back nose blunt to start the run. Also taking, it looked like he was going to take it all the way around, which is abnormal for him. Yeah. Abnormal for most. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for clarifying that one. <laughs> I don't know how you do your fakey back nose blunts. <laughs> oh. Unfortunate that he's had some falls in here because that 180 over the top to switch back 5-0 is so impressive. Hopefully we're gonna, you know what? We can chalk that up to nerves. Chalk that up to nerves. I will say the potential of his line is very high. Is super high. Five point eight. He's gonna look to that next one. And it's time. We're going to bring in defending champion. First time seeing him skate here this weekend, Yuto Oregon. That is such a cool way to start it. 
Nolly 270 switch back lip, switch tail to turn around. And then an Ollie Oop Nolly front heel on the hip. What's it like coming in having not skated all weekend? Ooh. Wow, Yuto is putting together a nice run here. Uh, honestly, feels great. Like Just he's well rested. rested. He's got to see everybody. He's got to see what they're capable of. Oh. Nolly back, 180 switch from Feeble, getting away from him there, but. At the buzzer. Where do you think that's gonna put him? The run up until then was incredible. Look at this, Nolly 180. Nolly 270 switch back lip. Tray flip 50, both trucks locked in. This is gonna be a high score, but Missing that last trick hurts. So it's not going to be able to put him into that top spot, but it's going to get him pretty close. 7.7. .7. Got him into third place. But we got a lot of skating ahead of us. Here's a look at that amazing crowd we've got here in Sydney. Your current leader, Kairi Natsuke. At the top, can he hang on? Stick around to find out. Street League Skateboarding is brought to you by Boost Mobile, works in more places. By Destination New South Wales, come and feel the energy in Sydney. And by Accelerator Active Energy, the official energy drink of Street League Skateboarding. Sydney, Australia. Here's a look at Bondi Beach. One of the most wonderful places in the world. You've got a skate park on the beach. Epic beach. It doesn't get much better than that. For everyone out there, come visit www.sydney.com or visit, or I'm sorry, it's www.visitnsw.com. Either way, get here, go to Bondi. Sydney's amazing. Thank you so much for having us here for SLS. We have been to some great destinations this season so far. And before we get to our next attempt, let's roll the highlights from Tokyo in the look back presented by Karayuma. There is a look at the defending champion from Tokyo, Yuto Horigome, currently sitting in third place. Up next, we've got Deshaun Jordan before he drops. Check in with the third member of our team, Alex White.
What's up, guys? You know, I'm on the sideline. I'm standing next to Shane O'Neill, who's helping Deshaun not only loan him a board when he broke his board in the uh, last round, but helping him kind of work through this. And he says that Deshaun can be kind of indecisive. And he was about to just do the same run again. But Shane's like, no, you need to step it up a little bit, try to get a better score right near, you know, end on something stronger, something that you don't need in the singles. Ooh, well, let's see if he can do it when he needs to. Deshaun Jordan on course. Shane also is known amongst us as like kind of one of the smarter strategic guys for this contest. So it's good that he's in Deshaun's ear because doing the same run really wouldn't have done anything much more for Deshaun. He might as well kind of go for broke here. 15 seconds left. Ugh. I mean, he tr yeah, he tried to step it up. He yeah. didn't do it, but he's got an 8.6. Exactly. He's in a good position. Yeah, he has an 8.6 as his backboard. Such a solid nose blunt slider. Three point four. Next in, Kairi Netsuke. He's been skating incredibly all weekend long. Take a look back at the G Shock time capsule. Man, he has seriously skated so much. <laughs> Qualified in in the Select Series, won the knockout round, group one to advance to, fi to the finals. This is not a high percentage line that he's doing either, and he is able to keep doing this line, keep pushing the bar. I just wonder, because the line that we saw, first one, out the gate, was his stepped up line in the knockout round. So I'm just like, what else is he gonna bring? Can he step up his step up line? We're gonna find out now. Kyrie on course. Oh. Just missing that nollie inward heel. Again, has a really big backboard. Jeez. mind-blowing watching him this weekend. He's come in, he's brought some really cool tricks. And right now, in the finals, he sits atop the leaderboard. It's really cool looking at his skating too, because I've been seeing him in the streets, in the mag. And then I didn't know that he was this consistent and can pull that all together at this level. And for him to be at the top of the leaderboard in his first ever Street League final, so impressive. Speaking of impressive, we got Nigel Houston. We know what he's capable of. He looks psyched. That's such a good sign. Yeah, he's moving a lot better than what he was this morning. Yeah, about mm, three hours ago, Yeah, he was hurt. This is the Nyjia. We know. We go. 20 seconds. Ooh, 
Smart move. The half cap flip in. Oh, and he puts it down. Elijah Houston, flawless run. Needs a 7-8 for third, 9-5 for first. Is that a 9-5? I don't think that's a 9-5, but at a 6.9, it's too much of an uphill battle. He just needed to get something to, to juice his score up a little bit more. And that line is exactly what he needed. Solid kick flip back lip. And then this, switch heel front board. He does it so relaxed, but that is a really hard trick. And then ending it on the boost mobile obstacle for the boost mobile replay. Nine even. He looks chuffed. All right. Next one in. Felipe Gustavo. 7.2 right now, but we know he's capable of nines. Really solid start to this run. Flip Crook getting away from him. Skips the front side tail slide. He's got 10 seconds. That was effortless looking. Chilling. Not the line he was hoping for. Yeah, not the start he was hoping for in general, but... But he is not out of this. Look at how well he did that. He seriously made that look like he was doing it on a flat ledge. Little bit of an improvement, 7.4. But he's going to need to make it up in the singles. Lucas Ribello. We talked about that line. You said there's a ton of potential if he can put it down. Ugh. So hard to get in a rhythm, right? When you miss the first trick. Looking pretty solid. 15. Oh, that is so sketchy right there. <laughs> Actually, is insane. Yeah. Missing the grind on that. Whew. Glad he made it away unscathed. He's going to need to put it all down. Score in, four even. He'll stick with that 5.8. Next in. Seated in fourth right now. Needs an 8.7 to get into third. Look at that consistency number, 93%. Might be up to 95 after this. Does Uto get nervous? I don't think so. And if he does, he doesn't show it, that's for sure. I love that switchback tail. Oh, Nolly back 
Six out 180 switch front feeble to end it. How does that stack up to what we've seen so far? I think that stacks up pretty close with the best of them. I mean, Nolly 270 switch back lip to start the run, adding flip tricks on the hip, and then tray flip 50. Locked in, and then this trick alone, this Nolly back side 180 switch front feeble is so hard to do. Especially the way he locked in right there. That's not a normal trick. This should be a nine club. 9.2. Yuto Horigomi in the second spot. That pushes Deshaun Jordan out of the top three right now. Look at that. Three, three nines from the lines. Kairi Netsuke. The lines are done. Let's take a look at the Boost Mobile best line. This man right here, score of a 9.4. He's just, he's done the best line in everything he skated. He is addicted to doing the best line. Yeah. <laughs> Ending it with his tail slide heel flip. Man. So much consistency. And to come in here, having never skated in SLS, and find himself at the top of the leaderboard is truly amazing. The question is, can he hang on and win his first ever SLS? We'll find out very shortly. Street League Skateboarding is brought to you by Kariuma, old school sneaker, new school ethics. By Tech Deck, start small, go big. And by G-Shock, the official timekeeper of Street League Skateboarding. Shot of our crowd lining up to get into the arena today. This is sold out. First time ever being in Australia for SLS Sydney presented by Boost Mobile. These are the top dogs right now. Nyjah Houston sitting in third place. Yuto Horigomi in second. And Kairi Netsuke in the top spot. Kairi made it through the SLS Select Series, made it through the knockout round, and now is sitting at the top of the leaderboard with a 9.4. He's just passing test after test after test. It's incredible. Two lines in, and now we've got the start list re-rack presented by Boost Mobile. Lucas Ribello qualified in in the top spot, now at the bottom. Felipe Gustavo, and we got Deshaun Jordan, Nyjah Houston, Yuto Horigomi, and Kairi Natsuki. Again, look at how beautifully organized that list is. Two Brazil, two USA, two Japan. For anyone tuning in, this is how it all goes down. This is the basics presented by Tech Deck. We are past the line section. What you missed, two 45 second line attempts. Now we're cracking in to our five single trick attempts anywhere on the course. We're taking the skaters top four scores. That is what counts. We will take a line, but it is not required. So, although we've got Nyjah, Yuto, and Kairi that all have nines with their lines, it is not over. Any of these skaters could still win it in best trick. Look at this crowd. This is amazing. This arena too, it, it's almost like straight vertical. It feels like you're kind of on top of the course. It's really cool. 
All right, Lucas Ribello coming in for attempt one. <laughs> I mean, Not exactly easing into it. No, Lucas has a lot of firepower. His tricks are crazy. And starting it out with this front, front side 270, switch back lip, spinning away from the rail. So hard to do, and he did it perfect. Nine point one is what he needs to get into third place. Eight point seven. Brings him up to the top. Felipe Gustavo. Wow. I love that. Switch flip back nose grind down the hubba. Look at this flicked perfect. Maybe a slight tap on the way out, but. Dude, that looks so good. So good. 9-3. Gets a nine even. He's in the club. Nine club. So we're going to see the leaderboard shuffle for a little bit. Look at this replay right here. Switch flip. Almost balanced, too. It, from this angle, obviously. Didn't look like he hit. It actually looked like he popped out, like, really proper. Next skater in, Deshaun Jordan. Deshaun. Coming out swinging. Front, time, front side 270, back nose blunt. As good as you can do it with this windup. Look at how high above it he pops. Yeah, you, you have to get that much pop to give yourself time, and he just gets up and then swivels around straight into the back nose blunt. He did that so well. 8.9 moves to Sean up to the top. Ooh, fans reacting. They've gotten a taste of the nine club. Those judges are a little close to the crowd. <laughs> yeah. Might need to put an extra security guard up there. I see Kelly Hart jump rope and he'll be he'll be just fine. <laughs> He's got muscles. Nigel nice, Houston, attempt number one. Oh. Okay, so that answers the question. We were wondering earlier, he did switch heel 5 0 180. We were like, hmm, was that an accident or was he trying to go to tail? But that answers it. He's going 5 0. Well, Utah Horigomi, first attempt. It's our first look at uh, what he's going to try in the singles. Oh! <laughs> Dude, what do you even call that? My God, I don't know. Isn't that the Suchu grind? Nolly Suchu? Yeah, it's like a Nolly Suchu. That is Nolly over all the way to his truck, bringing it back out. Dude, his body right there. So turns it up. So wild. That was gnarly. I just wonder how high up there it's going to be. 9.4. Yeah. Again, Utah continuing to do tricks that we've never seen him do before. Here's a look at that nine club replay.
Uh, that was one of the coolest tricks of the contest so far. What I appreciate so much about Yuto, he's not always flipping in, but he's turning his body in a way that is so unnatural for skateboarding. All right, Kairi Natsuki. Just missing that. That was close. That was very close. As we get set for our second attempts in single trick, here's a look at the bump to boost feature on the course created by California Skate Parks. In an awesome way, this thing is going to stay right here in Australia. Let's find out more from the course's creator. Hi everybody here, this is Joe C from California Skate Park. We're standing here in Sydney, Australia. Street League, amazing course. We got this cool Boost Mobile feature. What was great about this is it was, the logo was really easy to work with. This is so unique. It's got a great poppy color. We sized it up just right. It looks like it's skating really well. What's great about this obstacle is we don't get this opportunity very often, but we got a place this is going to live here in Sydney. So super stoked. This is going to go on, and everybody locally can skate the same obstacles that, that the pros got to skate. So this is cool to have. Uh, it's cool that SLS is first time in Australia, and they get to leave um, a piece of it behind. Having this at a skate park, you know, since like you never, we never usually get to keep stuff from SLS. Yeah, it'll be pretty sick to skate and for you know other people to skate as well. That obstacle, getting some skaters some big points. Yeah, Chloe, you know, they should just give that rail to Chloe while they're at it. <laughs> yeah, just like, and here yeah, you go. And you deserve this as well. It's a little more friendly to skate than that Boost Mobile sign. But it's a piece of history. It is history. It is. Okay, Lucas Rebello. Coming in, attempt number two. Oh! Giving everybody a what up. Fakey tray back lip to regular. Yeah, talk us through this one. Yeah, look, so right when he pops, he looks completely backwards. Fakie trays into the back lip and then pulls it back out to regular. Kind of going against what his body wants to do. Really gnarly trick. We saw him do it earlier, taking it to Fakie, but adding that extra turn in there just shows how much control. Judge is rewarding him 9.3, Lucas Rabello. Up in the top spot. Entering the conversation. Putting everyone on notice. Just that level of control is amazing. Next in, Felipe Gustavo. Nolly flip back 5-0. We saw him do that in the knockout round. It was what got him there. Or what got him here, my apologies. Look at this, Nolly flip up, getting to the back seat to be able to press that down. What a really hard trick to do. Super difficult. Eight point eight. Felipe Gustavo up the top. We're going to see a lot of movement until we have those four scores on the board. Deshaun Jordan. Ooh. Trey flip 50, the boost mobile sign. You heard him say it. He was like, my back truck. 
Shane's like, shh, quiet, shut up. <laughs> They're like, uh, no, we have the Boost Mobile yeah. instant replay. Boost Mobile replay is definitely exposing <laughs> the, the grind exposing right there. Exposing the truth. <laughs> really gnarly to do, though. Trey flipping up onto that sign. I know both trucks didn't lock in, but... All right, 8-5. They're still giving him a, a decent score. I like it. I, I still think, regardless, if both trucks locked in, great. But he did tray flip up onto that boost mobile sign, which it's not easy. Nyjah. He's got to get a score. Coming in switch. This guy. <laughs> this guy. He is so gnarly. So good in these situations. Switch heel, front five, 180 out. I love the way he pinches that in there. A little bit tweaked. It looks really cool. Nine even. Nyjah Houston enters the group chat. It's a, it's a big group chat going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Yuto Horigomi. He's got two nines on the board right now. Oh. Going for that switch backside 180 front crook. I really want to see that. I've seen him do that in video parts, and I've never seen it live. Yeah. Kairi Netsuke down at the bottom. Needs a 9.3 for fourth. Oh, man, that's going to put some serious pressure. He's not out. He's got a 9-4 on that first line, but he has to put down heavy ones. All right, everyone, take out those mobile devices. Download TrueSkate on your mobile device and enter the SLS Sydney event for the first time, players that complete all missions in the event will unlock a virtual replica of the championship course. Play now to skate SLS, the same courses as the pros. I can't get over how sick that kick the front crook looks. I don't even think I could beat these guys even if I was using true skate. No. No. But that's okay. You don't have to. Because you're up here in the yeah. commentator's booth. <laughs> Not anymore. Making magic yeah. happen, and we love it. Thanks for being here, Sean. All right, back in. Attempt number three. Lucas is on a hot streak right now. 8.7, 9.3. He's got to keep it up. Oh. It's not over. Going for that front side 270 front nose down the hubba. Just coming up short, but he still has two attempts left. Gustavo sitting in second. He needs a point nine for first place. Switch foot front tail. We saw that one earlier. It got him a score of an 8.7. It kind of looked like he was winding up. To go all the way? To go all the way. That's what it looked like to that me. Would, that would get him uh, in the club. His shoulders were, were turned. Deshaun Jordan right now in the lead. Looking to get that fourth score on the board. Oh. Missed the flick. It's a risky one. Nyjah looking to post up his third score. 
He's got two nines thus far. His top score is a 9.9. That's the highest in history, right? Oh, wow. Switch heel crook. Nyjah is definitely known for skating all the gnarly stuff, but this is why he is such a fierce competitor. I mean, being able to come into a course that, for him, is probably a little bit on the smaller side, and throwing down switch heel crook. Look at that pop out, too. That one definitely hit on the way out, but he did pop it beforehand, so. 9.1. All right, we're going to give him that 9-1. Yeah, switch heel crook down the hubba is, that, that's crazy. That's such a hard trick to do. That control on the pop out. So cool. Yuto looking to get that third score on the board. He's got a 9-2 and a 9-4. Oh, he locked in so good. That's going to put some pressure on him. He has to make the next two if he has a chance at defending the title. And Kyrie needs to get all three of these. Yeah. He's not out. He's got a 9-4 is sort of his base right here. But he's got no shot if he can't make this. Ugh. And that is going to do it. What an amazing showing. We still have two more attempts. But without four scores on the board, there's just no way. You ready for this? Attempt number four? I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous, too. Lucas Rebello. He needs, he's got to get that fourth score. Truthfully, he's got to put something big down the next two. That sucks so bad. He was so close to that. Just barely catching the truck on the hubba. Felipe Gustavo looking to get his next score. He needs a 2.0 to get up into first. Wow, switch flip front tail. Now the question is, was that strategy? Was he trying to go switch the front tail 270 on the try before? Calmed it down. Knew he could make the switch flip tail. You know, I, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe it was just the way he bailed. Because switch flip front tail is incredible. I'm just curious where, I mean, we're going to find out on the next attempt. 8.8, oh. Felipe now leading the charge with a 34. And look at that, score to beat 7.4. Deshaun, unable to put it down. All right, Nyjah, 9, 9, and a 9.1. He needs a 7 even to get into first place. He's not looking for a 7, especially not when you look at those scores that Yuto's got. Yuto's got a 9.2 and a 9.4 right now. Oh, he 
doesn't get it. It is going to come down to the last attempt. And that is just such a good tray flipper. That's weird to see him kind of whiff one like that. All right, Yuto, he has to make both of these. And that means we are going to have a new winner here in Sydney. Man. Oh, I thought he had that. What happened? No, it looked like he was just a little off balance. Your current leader, Felipe Gustavo. He's never done it here at SLS. He's gotten so close. Could today be the day? Kairi fought his way in. And although he's not going to be able to get four scores on the board, he has been such a competitor this weekend. And the crowd loves him. Felipe, he's like, really? First he's, place. He's like, I'm there. I'm there. We've got one more attempt to go. It is the start list re rack presented by Boost Mobile. Kairi is going to go first. Yuto Horigome does not have a chance. Lucas Ribello. Deshaun Jordan, Nigel Houston, and Felipe Gustavo. Nigel right now in second place. Pressure is on, but Felipe Gustavo is in the lead. All right, Sean. Last attempt. This one's for the crowd. This one's for everyone at home. 20 years old from Japan. First time in an SLS final. Going for broke. He'll flip back, nose blunt. Qualifying in through the select series and getting sixth place overall. What an incredible weekend for him. Job well done. Yuto is not going to be able to get a fourth score. And that is going to do it for him. Man, the stakes are so high. The level is so high. Utah was so close. But unfortunately, coming up short. Okay. Lucas. 2.3 to get into third place, 3.4 to get into second. But he is out of reach of first place. Still second place. Yeah, getting on the podium. Increase that paycheck. <laughs> oh. And that means the podium is set. It all comes down to this. We have three skaters left. Felipe Gustavo right now at the top. Deshaun Jordan. He needs an 8.1 to get into first. 
We're not even talking about a nine club here. Playing it smart. I like it. Switching it up. That Nolly Underhill front board wasn't working. He knows what the bigger flip front board to Fakie will score. This is a competition right here. This full tray flip all the way around front board to Fakie. Putting it down when he needed to. Scores in nine. Deshaun Jordan. Can he win again? Deshaun pulling out this nine club right at the right time. Bigger flip front board doing exactly what he needed to do, and that's put pressure on Felipe and Nyjah. Sean at the top of the leaderboard. Nyjah needs an eight. I mean, man, <laughs> an eight to get into first. Here we go. Oh! And he lands straight leg. That means Nyjah Houston is going to get third place here in Sydney. That barely missed. That backsmith slipped to a back lip and just it took off on him. One more skater to go. Niger podiumed with food poisoning. Pretty impressive comes down to this, Felipe Gustavo. He has never won here at SLS. He needs an 8.5 to do it. Is today going to be his day? Taking a moment. Nolly flip front side, no slide. Sean, is that going to do it? That should do it. Nolly flip front nose down the hubba. Felipe Gustavo has been doing this for a very long time. And he has never tasted victory here at SLS. Still waiting on the score. Here's another look. Nolly flip, pulling it over to front nose. So technical, so hard. We were talking about this course that suits him all weekend long. He needs an 8-5. Felipe Gustavo wins here in Sydney.
emotional victory. Years of hard work and dedication. Felipe Gustavo finally holds up the first place trophy. What an epic final. Congratulations. Street League Skateboarding has been brought to you by TrueSkate. Download TrueSkate and unlock the SLS Sydney course to play like a pro. By Oakberry Acai. Not just Acai, it's Oakberry, the official Acai of SLS Sydney. And by Rumble Sports. Download the Rumble app today, your home for exclusive SLS content. What an incredible final it has been here in Sydney. These are your final results. Nyjah Houston, third place. Deshaun Jordan in second. And for the first time ever, after all the years, the hard work, the dedication, Felipe Gustavo stands atop the podium. He's with Alex down on the course. Alex. So much love. Oh, I'm here with Felipe. This is your long-awaited, hard-worked, first win for Street League. Can you tell us what's going through you right now? Uh, I dream about this every, every day in my life. But I knew it was coming close, you know? Everybody always wrote for me. Everybody always wanted me to win. But it ain't my time and God's time. I worked so hard for this, and I'm so thankful. Let's go to my dad, my mom, my family, my girl, my brother, everybody in my hometown. We did it. Muito obrigado, vai todos. Por favor, Jesus. Obrigado. Deus não desampara aqueles que o buscam. Thank you. So yeah, I just want to say that that last moment, there was so much pressure on you, and you took an extra second. What was that that moment like? Um, I couldn't even hear anybody. I had my headphones loud as I could on repeat. I was just praying to God that, like, if this is my time, just please make it perfect. And then that was it. I landed, I completely blacked out, and then all the praise to the Lord. <laughs> well, huge congratulations to you. All of Brazil is celebrating, all of Sydney celebrating. What an amazing so win, Felipe. Back to you guys. Truly such an amazing moment. So great to see him, so excited, so appreciative. And we've got our highest scoring trick presented by Accelerator Active Energy. The Nali Suchu, Yuto Horigomi. 9.4. One of the coolest tricks I've ever seen in Street League. Just the way he was able to do that. But this is the man of the hour right here. Felipe Gustavo finally pushing through to that top spot. What a magic moment. Wow. So this is it right here. You can see Chicago. It was Kaisa and Kelvin, Tokyo, Chloe and Yuto. And here in Sydney, Chloe, repeat win. And Felipe Gustavo, what a position to be in as we gear up for the Super Crown World Championships down in Sao Paulo, Brazil, December 2nd and 3rd. Do not forget to get those tickets. Streetleague.com slash supercrown. This is going to be magical. For everyone who tuned in, thank you so much for myself, Sean Malto, and Alex White. An incredible weekend of skateboarding. Huge congratulations to Chloe Covell and Felipe Gustavo. We will see you next time at the Super Crown World Championships in Brazil.